Hello everybody, my name is Ross and welcome to Ross First Looks. Today we're gonna take a look at Carrion. Uh, this game it's like an indie horror, kind of. we can say kind of horror game because it's one of those games where you actually play as the villain apparently. And I was checking this game and it's kind of like, you know, 18 plus, gory, brutality, all of that shit, so just be warned. But yeah, today we're gonna take a look at Carrion and we'll see what's up. Okay, so after the intro I'm not sure exactly what happened, but we got like basically dropped outside of the game, but I'm gonna leave that intro on just to have it, and also like, uh, yeah, I saw like I hit a new game, basically I was in the menu, but I wasn't recording because the game kind of like wanted to confirm my identity for some reason, I think through Windows 10, playing this for like on a PC, but with the Xbox Pass basically, so, you know, okay, so looks like we have to move and... We are this creature, which I was expecting to be, because the name is Carrion, and uh, what is portrayed as is like you're the villain. Looks like we're a weird creature. Hello, fellow humans. <laughs> fellow humans, yes, indeed. <laughs> Hello, I'm one of you. Why can't you see? Okay, cool. So I'm playing on controller. Usually, I would play on a mouse and keyboard, but. I think it could work with controller, as we don't have like a movement with a camera. Camera, it's always following, I guess. Actually, we do have something with that. Okay, let me let me change back to mouse, actually, and keyboard. Why not? Okay, hello. How do you move here? Oh, interesting, interesting. It's just by holding click. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, the alarm is going on, which is great. Okay, grab and then pull. It could work on a controller as well, but I think I'm gonna. I'm more my like more more familiar with a keyboard when I play stuff, and if I'm able to play it on a keyboard, why not play it? I mean, basically, it's not really keyboard because it's just mouse if you think about it. Okay, so we can open doors. Hello, friend. I don't think it's a good idea for you to open this door. Okay. Hello. Can I eat him or something? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Grab with uh, all them towards you to consume them. Okay, cool. I got like an achievement or something. I heard a noise. I didn't see shit, but hey. Okay, I wanna grab that. And then we're gonna move here. I kind of like this type of genre where they kind of like let you play the monster. I think it's interesting. I know there is like a game where it's like it's basically really popular because of this, and that would be like the Day Dead by Daylight, Day Day by Daylight. I don't know Dead by Daylight, I guess. Um, which you can play actually the monster, right? Hello. Yum 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 yum. Really having a hard time to just like open doors. <laughs> Hello. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, Jesus, I'm growing. <laughs> okay, let me eat those humies. Humies. I'm just like a giant mass of, like, tissue. And just, like... I don't know. Blood and guts and gore. <laughs> At least it's like pixelated in a way, so it's kind of like, you know, hard to just like get all the details, I guess. But it's enough to make it work. Space to squeeze. Okay, cool. Damn, look at me. Fucking big, dude. What's that? Can I pull that? Uh, let me go down. Oh, I pulled it. Okay, and it opens that. Okay, cool. So this is kind of like, I guess... It's in a way like puzzles and stuff, like you need to do stuff in order to be able to move towards next areas. Like you need to open doors and stuff like that. Um, but at the same time probably it's gonna be like survive as well. I'm guessing we're gonna have some type of like soldiers or enemies or something to try to kill me. Like, maybe. Or we're just gonna eat the entire uh, population of the earth, I'm not sure. Okay, what's that? Saving, okay, that's interesting, so you can save in this game. I mean, it would be normal to save your progress. The fuck is that? Okay. Squeeze in. 
I'm not sure what's happening, but I guess I'm rolling with it. Stay to secure. Okay, so we move like to towards like another area, I guess. I guess that's it. So we can move from area to area. Damn, looks this area looks more like in the open and stuff. <laughs> Look at me, I'm just like I have like a bunch of veiny tentacles. Yeah, I, I wouldn't wish for like my worst like my worst enemy, you know, to see this thing coming at it uh, at you, I mean. Like it's fucking horrible. I like how you grab mechanic, but also at the same time he's kinda like, you know, getting used with it. Can I uh I don't think I can go there yet. Can I use something to break that actually? Let me just can I can, can you give me that? Yeah, that. Okay, what if I try to Well <laughs> it broke but that's not what I meant. Okay, let's move. So maybe we need like some type of ability to go through there? Like to break wood, but anyway. Okay, we can go up and down. So what's here first? Okay, this is closed. Can I? Nope. Okay, cool. So we cannot go dead yet as well. So we need to go down here. Like I said, I think it's like, like a little bit puzzle. It is puzzles, I guess. It's just like I don't know. You just need to do specific things to be able to move through areas and stuff. I think the movement is like really easy once you get used with it. Like on the control, you just need to hold and you just move on your on your own. So like on the mouse, you just need to hold click to do that. Okay, we can move through that. That's close, you cannot go down there. Or maybe I could pull that, can I? No, it's too short. So this is the tentacles I grab and pull with. So they have like... They're like a shorter reach compared to what I'm able to like grab and move. So I guess we need to find something in order to do that. Okay. There's another one there, but how do I get there? Okay, we can squeeze through here. It's interesting how we can squeeze to spaces. Okay, this is a save, right? Is it a save? What's happening? Okay, I don't know what fuck what the fuck happened when I What the hell what the hell is that? Just like I have a brother now or something like that. It, it really I really like this concept because like it reminds me of prototype basically. I'm not sure if you guys played prototype one and two or you're familiar with the game. Basically in that game you're just like, you're kind of the villain as well, uh, you're like a human that basically got infected and you're basically, you're, you're supposed to be dead but your like genome and everything is completely changed and you have this ability to like consume humans basically and okay so that guy's having a gun. Okay I need to be careful I guess with him. Um, but yeah, basically you're able to like consume f humans and you, you're able to like uh, take their appearance as well and you can in infiltrate and just like do weird stuff but also you just like you become like this type of biomass basically because you're able to consume humans but you just like store mass as this creature is doing right now like it's a, it's a type of like biomass it's able to store mass within, within itself like eating other living creatures but like absorbing their mass into itself. Oh. Okay, cool. I think you could shoot me if I'm not mistaken, but shot me, but anyway. So, I have like a type of health, I guess, there, so I need to be careful. Let me open the door. So, yeah, basically, you could absorb like other people's biomass and you could take like their appearance and you could use all kinds of like weird stuff based on biomass. Damn. So, I'm kind of making my. I'm making also my environment and stuff around here. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be just the first look at it, but uh, you know what? I'm taking damage. Cool. Kind of stupid. I don't know how to properly do this. Uh, but yeah, maybe if you guys want to see more, let me know, and we'll see. Maybe I'll do more. How do you break the wood? I keep seeing wood. I don't know if I can't yet. So let me go down here. Uh, there is a thing here. Okay, cool. Look at me, humans. Okay, so you can also grab and like, like you know, grab them and just like bring them to you. Ouch. <laughs> I'm just munching on them. 
<laughs> like Jesus Christ. I think you can also throw stuff on them, like you can grab stuff and you know, just like throw it. Okay. I didn't do any of that, but it's fine. Okay, this is close, it could go up there. But it's also close, so I don't think I have anything to do here. Maybe just like a running space in case, like if you need to run around for from them. Pretty strong, it's surprising I, I'm able to power through everything. See, you could hit them with a... Uh, you can hit them with objects and stuff. I mean, it would make sense, right? And also, you can just like grab and toast them around. <laughs> that's fucking... That's fucking something. I said toast and not toast, but it's fine. You can toast them around. Around, <laughs> fine. Okay, let's see. Is this a saving point again? Yeah. I think this would be like something that could actually... Like, if this... If something like this would just like escape into the world or... Like if would be able to exist, like we'd probably be like the, like you know, at the end of the world. Imagine something. What the fuck is that? Hello? I guess like a container. Is there anything in there, or just it's just like that? Huh? What if I try to hit it with something? The fuck is that? Okay, it exploded, but I don't think anything happened. What if I squeeze in there? Squeeze in, yeah, I can. I can. What happened? Arachnophotitis? Shoot a cobweb to trap your victims or in in uh, interact with objects. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so I took like the ability of a spider somehow. Okay, interesting. I can shoot it through walls and stuff, right? Nice. So I gotta like uh, keep that in mind because I'll need to use this in uh, in all kind of situation, I guess. So yeah, I was saying basically, if anything like this will exist, probably would be on the end of the world because like we kind of like just assimilate uh, all the biomass that it gets. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't need specifically humans, just need just biomass, then would probably like assimilate like humans. Uh, Okay, so I probably need to go up there, okay, see? We'll assimilate just humans and animals and all, all the everything in its way pretty easily, so... I don't know if we would be able to stop it. I mean, obviously, you need to burn it. I think that would be the, the best solution. Because that it's biomass, but... If it's able to also, like, just, I don't know, like... Probably, like, take genome or something. Like, our genome and just, like, change or... You know, basically taking your genome and transforming into you and just like integrate and infiltrate and stuff like. Or use like animals ability like for example, oh shit he shot me. Like for example you would be able to use like the smell of a wolf and just uh, or like a bear or like the power of a bear, right? <laughs> okay, let me eat. Who is yelling? Just trying to eat, so I'm gonna like regain health. Is there any anyone else here? Yeah, there's some people screaming around. But... Hello. Okay. Get over there. I can go through here, but is there any way that I could get to them? That's what I'm looking for. I don't see it. <laughs> it would be nice if I would be able to grab and throw that. <laughs> Hello, dirty humans. <laughs> dirty humans. No, oh, I said that. <laughs> They're not dirty, but whatever. Okay, let's do this. Kind of fattened right now. It's kind of hard to squeeze through stuff. Okay, so we can go up here, but it's closed. So I need to kind of log that somehow. I guess. Okay, let's go through here and see what else we can find. Okay. Oh, wait. wait, did I not pull that? Does it need to stay all the way down? Yep, okay, cool. So we open this one which leads back to that thing. So I guess we need to do something in, or in order to open that. Oh, maybe we need to eat those people as well and then it's gonna be able to just like... I don't know, maybe affect like the entire area where we're just gonna have like enough biomass to do some shit, I don't know. We'll see in a moment. 
Shift to uh, allocate to L allocate. Echo locate. Echo locate. Okay, so we can kind of like use that to see where we need to go. So I guess we need all those three hives in order to do something, right? Hello, friend. Do you want a gift? <laughs> do you, do you want to go? Do you want to go on a walk with me? Oops, <laughs> I just fucking need him. I didn't mean to. I was was trying to carry you with me, but it's fine. I, it does, I don't really need to kill them if you think about it, right? I just killed them until now, like, was just like my thing that I need to do, right? But you don't really need to kill them, like the game didn't say you need to kill them to beat a game. I guess if I'm losing HP, I'm able to eat them to like regain that HP or biomass or whatever, but if I don't do it, then I don't think it's necessary, right? Okay, so here we need the ability to just like go through wood, but I think I need to go back up because I located all the the nests or whatever. Lol. So maybe the humans just like, maybe this is not Earth, maybe it's just like a planet and the humans like establish like a base or something in here. And they discover me. Because this seems like the, that I, I was before here, right? This like this bases and stuff I'm going into and squeezing through spaces and stuff like that and just like the nest basically were existing here before, right? I mean if you press shift and locate them then that means that they exist, you just need to kinda of like reconnect with them. See? They just kinda of like exist and interact back with me, so I guess that, that would be the case. I still don't have the ability to go through wood. Like there, there are wood blockages when I like to say go through wood because yeah. It'd be interesting if you have like some kind of ability, maybe in the future, who knows, to like divide. Just be able to sleep to like uh, to divide into like two separate parts. Okay, we're still not able to go through this, right? I don't think I have anything that I can destroy it with. So I'm not able to go through there either. I don't see anything specific here. Hello, squeeze. Okay, cool. I can squeeze through there. I didn't see that. I missed it. What the fuck is this? Hello? It looks like a fucking weird arc generator or something. <laughs> arc reactor. Okay. Oh, I'm a human. Okay. Hello. I have a gun. Can I shoot those? Uh, maybe this was oh maybe this is on Earth, but like maybe it was because I seen a helicopter and everything, but maybe it's like some ruins or some stuff, and they just find it. I mean, this could be pre-built. They this needs specified to be like built by humans. Can we go down? Yeah, we can. Okay, this is interesting. So it's having a story. Like it's not telling the story by just like text and stuff, but it's telling by this it's telling you the story by just like showing you. Okay, so we have a drone as well, which is interesting. I mean, this, the leathers and the, like, the things like that, they could be built by humans, but... The doors and the other stuff, like, it doesn't need to be specific, specifically built by humans. Okay, what's that? Okay. What did I do? I have no idea. Okay, let's go back up. I saw this game for a while and I was thinking maybe to try it. Like, it's, like it looked interesting. Never like watched too much because I didn't want to just like ruin it. So, it's like some trailer. Plant C4. Okay, so are, are we blowing the shit out of this place? Or are we trying to blow the shit out of this place? Examine. And identify sp species of two big swarms. So that's what we are. Um, what now? Oh, hello. Did I? Oh. Let's see if it exploded, I think. Oh, we pressed the button and that's what detonated. It, 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 the disorganized mass of bones and dry tissues. So I guess that's like some other entities like me, right? Maybe some dead entities like, like me. 
So maybe just, like, I'm thinking maybe the place itself is like predating humans, but the humans came in here and they just like built some systems so they would be able to like to move around. So they build like ladders and stuff like that. Stairs. And I'm not sure. But that doesn't seem to be human technology, the thing that we use, so. I'm just saying. Okay, so we're like kind of back here. Have we been here? Okay, I don't know if I was here before. Was I here before? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. So I'm moving around for now, but I don't know exactly where I exact where do exactly where I need to go, right? Can I fit here? What's this? I I don't know that I've been here because I tried to get inside of that like before, but I'm, I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Like yeah, you can put a shift and just like you locate the the safe points in a way, cause I understand where you need to locate them just in case like if you get lost or something, maybe you want to save before you leave the game, so you just press shift and you find one of those and you save. Uh, or if you're like completely in a new area, you can try to find those by doing that. So, I've been through there, so have I been through here before? Let's check. Yeah, I have. Uh, I need to find a way to just like break the wood, right? I think that's what I need to do. Where do I go back? Because I can use this to like kind of travel between stuff, right? So I guess I need to find a, like, I need to find like a location where I have not been before into. Which I kind of find one, which is this one, because I haven't been down here. And I'm not sure how to unlock this thing here. Like, I haven't been down there. And I can take a look around, but yeah. I'm not sure exactly what I would find, something that I need. I think I need an ability to get through wood, that's for sure, but I'm not sure how I would find that one specifically. Hmm. Interesting. So I have the ability to just, like, see here I need the same ability to go through one. And I don't have it, but I have this ability to speed this one, which is like a cobweb. So probably there is a way that I didn't see before. Or I did see, but I didn't have the thing to open the doors. So that's what I kind of like left off, I guess. Oh, I can break lights as well. Okay, so this is just like a one way in, okay, see. So the other two basically is like a shortcut, uh, but just like a one way in, you're not able to go go back basically. This is where we find the, uh, the other ability. So maybe we just need to find like another container like that. And inside is going to be like another ability that we didn't use before. So I think, I don't think it's in this area. So let's go back up. But there definitely must be an area that I did not explore. And... That's where I would normally find the ability that I'm missing. There is a tube here. Have I been through there? No, it's just one way. Okay, cool. Uh, up there. I cannot go up there. Hello. I've been through here. Okay. I can save here. Just destroy the computers. Okay, still wood, so I have nothing to go through that. Can I go down there? It's just one way thing. I might just go in in circles. I think I'm going in circles. I wanted to go up here and just like go back to the area that I was before. Yeah, here. Yeah, I just I just went left instead of just going in. So I think the new ability that I need to find it's, it's gonna be in this area particularly. Seals breached, 50% biomass sample lost, 100% contained unit. Okay, cool. So I think it's it needs it needs to be in here somewhere. If it's not in here, then it's like in the the other area. But like I'm definitely either missing something or there's like some biomass in here or something somewhere. Just like a container or some some new ability. I'm not sure. Maybe through here. I think it's it should be through here, right? I guess I I've been here, but like I like reached the end or something. Oh, hello! 
Oh, see, I did, I did miss something. I knew it. Okay, cool. You just need to be. It's one of those games like where you need to be squeezing. Okay, so like, like really careful so you don't miss like specific elements and stuff. Because if you do, then you'll be able to find what you need basically saving so we move it like into a new location okay cool I think I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it here I, I am enjoying this to be fair but like my brain is all over the place with the story and everything but I did save so that's good so yeah guys this is Carrion um, it's a cool game I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a series on it I'm gonna think about it currently I don't have uh, two series I'm going on my channel I have just one series so I need to decide on another one um, and we'll see if you really want to see more of this just let me know and I'll definitely do more because it's definitely interesting and It's curious how it's gonna end and how long is the game itself But yeah, if you're new to this channel and is this is the first video that you see from me Don't forget to like leave a like subscribe all that good stuff um, If you just like from here from like a long time obviously don't forget to support it's very much appreciated And thank you for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye